Hi, so I had a request from a viewer asking me to do an update on my stationery. That wasn't my most, that was probably my least popular video, but I know that there are people out there that like it because I can't be the only one that likes this stuff. So I thought I would show you um, what my updated set of stationery looks like. I have acquired several new things from my last video. Um, in Karimo, International Correspondence Writing Month is February. It's where you commit to writing and delivering, whether that's handing it to somebody or sending it to them, delivering um, one handwritten correspondence for each day of the month. So you have 28 for February. And I participated in that last year and I really loved it. Um, even though I wasn't able to keep up with all of the you know, pen pal relationships, I moved and changed a job and it was just crazy, but um, it happens every year and there are always lots of people that are willing to participate. So if you go to incarimo.org, um, if you feel like participating, you can check that out. That's a good way to have a purpose for buying all of this stationery. Um, I know it's a purpose for me buying my stationery. I enjoy writing letters throughout the year. I usually write about, I have like six or seven regular people that I write every month or just write regularly, you know, when I get a response back from them. But it's really fun when Incarimo comes around because I know I'm going to write at least 28 letters and um, it helps me to work through my stationery and justify my buying more. So, um, I'll start with, I have a box, well, let's start with the box, shall we? So, I got these little booklets from Hallmark, and they were on clearance, and they were, I won't show you all the pages because I have things written in them, but there was a lined, a graph, and a blank, and they were all kind of coordinating covers. Um, this is where I keep my addresses for Incarimo, and I kind of keep track, or I was doing a better job of keeping track of who wrote me, who didn't write me back. Um, things like that, but that's where I keep this. Oh, oops. <laughs> so in here I have some letters from some of my pen pals that I'll put to the side. So I do keep letters in here. I'll try to keep like the last letter that somebody sent me so that, you know, before I've sent them out a letter so that I can look back at it, read it, and remember what we were talking about. So in this box, um, what originally came was a bunch of stationery, and I actually have some of those in another thing that I'll show you, but um, now I'm just keeping stickers in here. I like buying stickers, and I like putting them on people's, um, you know, letters and stuff, uh, so I'll pick up some if I think they're pretty cool. I kind of went on a little spree, so I haven't bought any for a while, and you'll see because they're kind of all the same, but... I have some stickers here. These are little dog stickers, and I think they are so cute. Uh, my students, who were teenagers, they loved these. So I bought these, and I originally had probably like a hundred of them, um, and then I would put them on <laughs> on students' papers if they were particularly outstanding. You wouldn't believe how much a 17-year-old guy loved getting puppies on his paper. It was just adorable. So um, those are some of those. Then I found these at the grocery store and actually this whole all of the ones that look like this they're beautiful stickers and I think they were like you know anywhere between a dollar and like a dollar seventy five for a pack depending on the pack but I really enjoyed them so these are without taking them out of the package but you can see it's like a 3d sticker it, it's um it certainly has some what is the word I'm looking for, like mass to it, it's it's not flat, it's not a paper sticker, it's plastic. And I don't know if you can see that, but it has sparkle in it, so owls. And sometimes what I'll do is, you know, not only will I decorate the letter I send, but I like to send like a sticker to them so that they can use it or something. Then I have, so I have a box, I've had this since I was in high school. Um, I've loved stationery since I was a little girl like Lisa Frank. If, if that rings a bell, you know what I'm talking about. So when I was at Disneyland, gosh, I wonder if there's a date on this anywhere. Probably not. I went to Disneyland a lot as a kid. I like, I like Disney. I'm not like, like a Disney zealot, but I really certainly like Disney. Um, and I like, you know, Tinkerbell, the princesses. I like all of the Disney characters, but um, I bought these Tinkerbell stickers. This one hasn't even been used, this box. I had another box, and so it was four different kinds of rolls of stickers. They're all the same. Um, 
they repeat like the same eight or ten, you know, Tinkerbell poses, but this one is on lavender. This one's on like a baby pink. These are like sparkly, and these ones were clear. If you can see, they're sort of see-through. So I have this box totally unopened at this point, but these are what are, there are some in here of what are, are left from the, the previous box that I had. So you can see, these are just little paper stickers. These were the pink ones. And so they would come out on a sheet like this, and then they would, you know, repeat the, you know, repeat the, the poses of Tinkerbell. So I have, I've gone through and I've separated, I've used a lot of like my Japanese kind of stationery, um, but some of the stickers in here I think go with some of those. So these, I don't think these stickers went with any particular set, but they're like a fat little flat panda. Aren't they cute? Um, so these are the remnants of one of the sheets of stickers that I had of those. I have some sparkly hearts and some stars. Then I have these little Care Bear, they look like stamps, they're sort of in the shape of stamps, and then I loved this set of stickers. It was a sheet probably this big, and it was just of stars, but they kind of had like an oily, um, oil slick, shiny finish, and these are the remnants that I have of those, but they were all different colors. Aren't those beautiful? So I love those. I have some more uh, hearts that are sort of sparkly, as you can see, and another sheet of those. These came with a pad of paper, and I believe I am totally out of the paper. They were in the back of the pad of paper, but it was that same little fat panda, and it had um, like kind of a nature-y theme with little leaves. I mean, aren't these so cute? It's like a little leaf growing out of his back because he's been so lazy and laying there for so long. I, I, I remember I looked these up at some point. There were several like uh, Japanese sayings. I don't remember what it meant pretty cute. Some more of those little dog stickers. Uh, these came to me, I think, oh, from the World Wildlife Fund. So I donated some money and they sent me some stickers and I think a pad of paper. And so I, they, they had three, three designs, just paper stickers, the panda, the polar bear, and the butterfly. So these were more from the grocery store. I bought them from Vaughn's. Um, but I don't live near Avon's anymore, so I don't know if they still stock these. Um, and I haven't been looking because I have lots of stickers. Actually, this is the front. I, I just put the sheet in wrong. So these are just little flowers, little um, kind of like pastel-y colored. But if you look closely, I don't know if you can see it. They're actually, um, they have like a little bit of a, like a glitter to them. I'm not taking these all out because they're sticky and they're hard to get back in and I don't want to do all that on camera, but um, they have like a little bit of a, a glitter to them. These are also from the grocery store. These are, and the last ones, these ones are, aren't, they're plastic, but they're flat. They're certainly not um, like raised. And these are paper and some of these have glitter on them too on some of the little, the little flowers are all glittery. It's hard to kind of see, but ladybugs. You can see I'm working my way through this stuff. <laughs> These are in the package backwards, but I think you get the idea. These were like little um, little zoo animals. So there's an elephant, and a zebra, and a panda left, and some stars. And these are definitely like raised. They're not puffy. They're definitely um, hard and solid, but they have that raised texture, and they're all sparkly. These are so cute. I don't know why I have them all in backwards. Um, but little circus animals or, no, not necessarily circus, frog isn't a circus animal, but you see little animals. Um, and these don't have any kind of a glitter to them and they're, they're not paper. They certainly, they're, they're flat like a paper sticker, but they have like a rubberized texture to them, which is kind of interesting. So I like those. Then just some, some dots and these are, they're raised and they're plastic and they're glittery on the inside more of those Tinkerbell stickers. So here's the clear and the sparkle. These were so cute. Um, and I know like, some, you know, they're missing what some of them look like because they've been used, but these were like a uh, rubber duck themed. And then look at the little sailor rubber duck. So cute. More of the wildlife stickers and then a full sheet of the Care Bear postage stamps. This is actually, I think, my third package of these, but um, 
they're not glittery, but they're certainly that raised plastic, you know, texture. But they gave you like rainbow dots and then all these really cool swirls and like funky looking dots. So those were really cute. So those are some of my stickers and I keep them in here. And actually, oh, is it gone? So this is really old too. Like I said, you know, I've liked stationery for a really long time. I can't even see where there's a date on these, but I have come to the end. So, um, in fact, so this was a roll of Cinderella stickers. I had several of these. I had a, a Winnie the Pooh set, and I had a couple Cinderella. I think I had another one. I have three left, but they're little tiny square paper stickers, and they're so cute. I have Cinderella stationery that I've had since I was uh, a kid as well, and I would always pair them with this. So, those are my stickers. Um, let's see. So, pads of paper. So, I I know I've I think I've showed this before. I know that I, I think it was in my Lamy nib assortment video that I was writing on this pad of paper. This pad of paper just cracks me up. I don't have the cover to it anymore, and sometimes I'll write letters to people just because it's so weird. But the little the little character is pretty cute, um, and, and there are lots of different kinds of pages. Um, this one's like a bunny theme, and little, I don't know, <laughs> the little girl, and then a yellow one, and so there's a lot of, of variation in the pad. It, it goes for a while before it repeats. So anyway, and you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm pulling... I, I don't know. I, I want to say there was maybe like 15 different designs in this pad. It was pretty cool. Um, that one's kind of cool. Anyway, it was a lot. There was a lot of paper. I mean, you can see that you went out quite a way. Oh, 10. 10 designs. So those were the different designs that it that it gave you. Anyway, um, I, <laughs> I, I, this pad of paper cracks me up because obviously the text has been translated to English by somebody that doesn't speak English very well and so it just it's funny and I'm not making fun of people that don't speak English very well I just think this is funny on the, the stationery so here's an example I don't know if you can see this it's a beautiful day I've got someone waiting for me birds are singing sunlight is dazzling now spring is in the air I'm happy because you are by my side I have a dream <laughs> this one says just good luck all over it this one says, my heart is flammable when I see your beautiful eyes. We argue often, but we know we love each other. Oh, another good luck. This one is, my heart is flammable. This one just says, please look at me. <laughs> this one just says, I have a dream. Another one, my heart is flammable. Oh, but then there's little pictures over here. You're always on my mind. I'll be there until end of time. I have a dream. Uh, another, <laughs> my heart is flammable. So, um, yeah, this one just says happy day. That's pretty cute. So anyway, that's a pad of paper I've had since I was in college, which is like 12 plus years ago. Still enjoy that one. It had a lot of paper. I've had this pad of paper since I was a little kid. Um, again, I liked Disney. I think you can see it. It's a really pretty pad of paper. It says, a dream is a wish your heart makes, and it's Cinderella themed. She's kind of up here, superimposed. There they are dancing, the, the clock striking midnight, the Cinderella's castle, the glass slipper, them looking at each other lovingly. I think you can see all of that. Um, no copyright on it, but it was $5, which I'm sure nothing at Disney is $5 anymore. But um, I've had this for a really long time. I've started using it recently to write people letters because this paper is excellent for fountain pens. It takes fountain pens beautifully. I know I had, I think I had two pads of, paper, pads of this paper before, but it, it doesn't have any kind of like a coating on it or anything. It's just a nice high quality paper and it really does well with fountain pen ink. Um, a recent purchase that I got, I believe it was after in Karimo because I had gone through so much of my stationery. I just bought a Claire Fontaine Triumph, Triumph pad of tablet of uh, writing paper. I got this from like the bottom shelf at Goulet Pens. 
that's why I got it. Um, and it's just blank white paper. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's great to write letters on, fountain pen friendly, and it works great. Nothing special, but a nice pad of paper. I try to now, like if I know I'm writing to a guy, maybe not, you know, use such cute stationery. Uh, so I have a bunch of cards from a company called Easy Tiger, and I've used quite a few of them at this point, but these are the ones I have left. They're, they're pretty funky, cute little cards. So you can see it's a small sized card. Um, too bad. It's too bad there isn't an award for the best person ever. I'd give you runner up, but at least you would have lost to me. So they come with um, a folded up envelope like this on the back. It says cards for awesome people.com. I guess that's where you can order them. So I have several of those. I'm having fun without you. And just so we're clear by fun, I mean fungus. I'm definitely sending that one to my brother for his birthday. Uh, I didn't know it was possible to pull a muscle laughing. We really need to start stretching first. I just like these because these are so funky and weird. The people that I, I, I'm very selective about who I'm sending these to because, uh, they're just kind of strange, and I've got to send them to the person that I know will get my sense of humor. Since you've been gone, I've been talking to myself a lot. At least someone around here knows how awesome I am. Oh, that one just, uh, that one cracks me up. Another one. You make me feel like I can do anything. So in other words, I blame you. The last one of those is, I'm stupid. But you already knew that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I just love those little cards. So when you want to send somebody a quick note, I've, or when I do, I, I send those. And, um, yeah, I send those to old friends. They, they know me and get my sense of humor. So one of my students last year, you know, when you teach high school, uh, you don't expect gifts from students. So when you get them, it's really it's really sweet and when you get a really awesome gift you're like what <laughs> so one of my I, I'll say it one of my favorite students from last year at the end of the year or was it for my birthday she got me this um, set of cards from papyrus and so it's like a 3d bird cut out sparkly flowers I mean come on how well does she know me it's beautiful the inside is blank um, and then look at the envelopes that they came with bright pink and then the inside of the envelope get ready for it oh my gosh it's like a bright lime green I know it looks yellow on camera but it's so beautiful I love this set of stationery these cards go to um, really special people or yeah they go to really special people or somebody that I think will appreciate their beauty so these aren't my everyday cards. These are more like special occasion cards. And uh, with those, and I think with all papyrus stationery, it comes with the you know gold seals so that you can seal up the envelope with the little hummingbird on it. And I have hummingbirds all over my yard. It's, it's gorgeous. So I've got those. The next thing I have, I bought these at a local shop. And... Um, they're really beautiful. My only complaint is fountain pen ink. It just, they, there's so much bleeding and feathering. It's, it's kind of sad. Um, so the, <laughs> so I, I just have to use a different kind of pen, which is what I said in my last video. You know, fountain pen ink isn't for everything. Fountain pens and fountain pen ink. So um, they just have these white envelopes. And then there are four designs in each box. I don't know if I still have all the designs. How beautiful is that? Like a little dandelion blowing away. And they're just blank on the inside. Linea Design is the company that makes them. I love this one. It goes like this. It's uh, like, they look like Asian sort of paint brushes. I'm sure somebody out there knows. But then it says Paris down here. And... Well, I won't give you all those details, but it's beautiful. This one, really pretty. My mom loves to garden, and so does my, my brother and sister-in-law, so I could always send them one of these. And I often do send them one of these. 
they're in my regular rotation of letter writing. And then these just beautiful, look at those orchids. Reminds me of the orchids I have. Just gorgeous. I love that, that bright orange color. So pretty. So those um, came in one box. And I don't remember how much I paid for these. Oh, it's right there, $14.95. <laughs> Here is the next box. I love this one. Isn't it beautiful? All the letters. <laughs> I only have one more left, but I, I really, I really love this one just for the letters. I love the artwork on these. Isn't this gorgeous? What is that? Is that a crane? An egret? I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows. I don't. It's a beautiful bird though, and it looks like it stands in the water. Here's another one of the paint brushes really pretty and then this one is beautiful hydrangeas with the little ladybug gorgeous love those wish they took fountain pen ink better but you know they're beautiful and that's why we have other kinds of pens so those are some new acquisitions here is my old Cinderella box. I just love it. I will never get rid of this box because I love the scene. Her and Prince Charming standing by the fountain and it's all sparkly in nighttime. I um, wonder if there's a date on this. So this was $12.95 when I got it and I know that I've had this since I was a little kid. Um, you couldn't buy this for $12.95 now. I should just show you the, the designs that came with it because I know I don't have them all. I might have one or two of these cards left. So there's... Um, her with the animals working in, or I'm sorry, the animals, like the birds and the mice working in the workshop to put her dress together. Her running after it strikes midnight to go to her carriage and losing her glass slipper up there. It's hard to see. The, what, the design that was on the cover, which is her and Prince Charming. I'll move this. There's the coach going through the city at night. And, oh, I love that picture. Her and Prince Charming dancing. That's gorgeous. So I'll probably never throw this box away just because I love this box so, so much. Um, so much. I'm going to remove a couple of things from here. But I got this postcard from the Zeller Writing Company when I placed an order. So I'm going to be using this during Encarimo. I have some postcards over here from where I'm from, which I won't show on here. But I will show you one that I got from... Uh, a pen pal from Windsor in the UK. Beautiful picture, isn't it? I also got these envelopes just recently from a pen pal. They are so cute. I just can't even stand to look at them. Um, and somebody's going to get them. And inside it says Basildon Airmail. They, they're so cute. This is like the old timey envelope. That's what I think of when I look at these. And I just, I adore them. So, I know I don't have all of these anymore, but um, my brother and sister-in-law live in Lansing, in the Lansing area in Michigan. And um, when I was there, there is a yoga studio that was having an art exhibit to raise money. And so what the artist did was had all of these different um, yogis and their students go all around the Lansing area and um, get into yoga poses. They took pictures of it and then they were selling them as framed photos, unframed photos, and then note cards. And I went and I helped my sister-in-law set up this art show with some of the other people there. And as a thank you gift, she bought me a pack of the note cards, which I was, just thought was so sweet because she knows me all too well. And um, so these are some of those note cards. This is the information in case you're interested in checking them out and you're in the Lansing area, Just Be Yoga. And um, it tells you on the back the location and the different people that were in the picture. So if you're from Lansing, you might just want to get a set of these because partial proceeds uh, go to support Free Being Yoga Network, a nonprofit yoga for the underserved. And my sister-in-law is involved in helping yoga reach everybody. So this is really beautiful. And 
and I will I will probably be using you know what you're saying I'll be using for Inkarimo except for maybe the papyrus and the easy tiger cards because those are kind of like my little specialty cards uh, here's another one I actually this girl that's right here on top of the train I met her at the art exhibit she was standing there and I was looking at the picture and she said something to me and I turned to talk to her and I looked at her and I looked back at the picture and it was the girl I'm like that's you <laughs> and she's so we started talking about that but that was pretty cool. I love the I love these cards. I, I would probably love it a lot more if I was from Lansing because I would be familiar with these places. But I did meet some of the people. This is B from Just Be Yoga, and she was pretty pretty spunky. Look at the the moon back there. So I'm sure uh, this landmark would be familiar to somebody. They're doing camel. I do some yoga too. And the last one, so I guess I used several of those. I, I love this one. It's a little kid sitting on the ground doing yoga and pointing, and it says like, why love? So all these hubcaps are on some fence, uh, Friedland Industries fence in Old Town Lansing. I love it. Beautiful. So those are really special to me. I love that they have a story. I have one of these left. I really, um, I like to send these as thank you cards to people. I think this is a nice professional looking card. It has a pretty envelope. It's gold on the inside, shiny gold to match the card. And I got these from Hallmark. So yeah, I've used those for thank you notes. As have I used these for thank you notes. I also got these from Hallmark. They have a nice turquoise envelope to match this. And I think this is not as formal or fancy, but I think it serves as a nice thank you card. I'm big on thank you cards. Love to get them. Sort of expect to get them. Almost never do. And love to uh, give them. So here's what's left of my Cinderella stationery. I had a few more than I thought. I thought I had like two left. Um, just a plain white envelope. But here's some of the artwork. Isn't that beautiful? And it's a nice heavy card. The inside is sort of, uh, not glossy, but it sort of is on the back. It's got the Cinderella 50th anniversary logo. Let's see what else is in here. So I actually have quite a few of those, huh? I have one of these. And I have one of these. I love those cards. These cards have to be at least 20 years old. All right, what else do I have in here? So, oh, I got these cards um, from, I think from Habitat for Humanity when I sent some money in. And these go to very specific people because it definitely says, I'm so saying, thankful for another year of our wonderful friendship. And it would appropriately be sent out in the fall. So I have two of those. And these are the envelopes that go with the Claire Fontaine tablet. These are Claire Fontaine notebook or um, envelopes, and they're just plain white. Nothing special about those. What's in here? Oh, and then I have a few Christmas cards left over um, for next year. But nobody cares about those right now because it's January and the last thing we want to think about is Christmas at this point in time. We all survived. Hopefully uh, that is all that matters. All right. On to the next. I'm just really surprised somebody requested this because, I don't know, not very many people want to sit there through all of this. Uh, but I'm glad somebody does because I would. I know I would. So, um, I actually just bought these last weekend with my friend um, when we were out and doing a little bit of shopping, but we had lunch, and I was telling her about Incarimo, and I said, you know, I feel like I just need some more because I'm going to be writing to men, women, people that are different ages. I know I'm going to write more than 28. Um, I'll probably do like two a day, and so... I didn't want to necessarily deplete everything I have, and I saw these, and they just caught my eye. I think these are so cool, um, and they look so trendy to me. I don't know why I think this would be a trend now, but it seems like it should be. Um, and I thought they were really nice, and I think they would also serve as good thank you notes for when Incarimo's over. Um, you know, I think they're fairly neutral 
and they would be good enough to be professional if necessary. On the back, they're just black American greetings, and they came in these these funky like turquoise envelopes. So that's what I really liked about them. It reminded me of um, breakfast at Tiffany's. Why? I don't know. Well, I, I'll tell you exactly why. Because I have a nail polish called For Audrey that's about this color, and it's the Tiffany blue because of breakfast at Tiffany's. That's how all of this gets put together in my mind. All right. <laughs> Um, so the box that I keep my stickers in, I still have some of the stationery that goes in those boxes. This is really funky and really cool, and um, I've had it for a really long time since I was a teenager. I've got four of them left. These kind of just go out like specialty things, you know, every once in a while, here and there. But it has like a cool, um, it reminds me of like a Da Vinci notebook kind of feel with the, you know, measurements and the notes and then some of the artwork. Although I'm sure if you're an art person, you're like, that's not Da Vinci at all. But it's on what feels like a, a paper bag, like a paper grocery bag. And there's the back. And I don't know actually which is the front and the back. I guess it could be either. And then the inside is just blank, but it feels exactly like a paper grocery bag. But the really cool part about those cards are the envelopes that go with them. So they're long like this, and they're out of maybe a little bit heavier material, but I love the closure. So it's got, um, you know, a sticky side that you could moisten and seal, but then it's got the little string. How cool is that? Love them. So those are kind of like special occasion cards for me. Gosh, you know, probably a lot of what I showed in my last um, stationary video is gone because I used so much of it during Incarimo. So this is uh, the last, very last, I'll get one more letter out of it. This was uh, Morning Glory stationery. I think that's a Japanese stationery company. Oh, Korea, sorry. But this is like a weird texture of paper. It's, you can kind of see through it like that, um, but it's, it doesn't feel like regular paper. I felt like stone, stone paper, it kind of feels like that, but it doesn't have a slick of a feel to it, but it's certainly got um, a texture that you can see there. It's light purple and it has like some white speckles and a little bit like a medium purple line on it. I've got two pieces left of that and the envelope that goes with it. You can see that envelope. It's got like a weird sheen to it. Um, no sticky on the envelope, but it's cute. It's a little envelope. So I will be sending out one letter for Incarimo using this, and that will be gone. And I've had this since I was in college. And I had it, I think it was like almost a full pack when I started with Incarimo. This is another one from Morning Glory. This is actually pretty cute. It's all cute. You know, like, so much of my Hello Kitty is gone, and I'm kind of glad for that. You know, I, I sort of grew out of that at this point in my life. These little, um, this stationery came with these little cards, and I never knew what to use them for, but I think you can see that. It says, photo here, name, phone, beeper. That sort of dates me, doesn't it? And address. So it's just like a little address and contact card. I don't know if you, it was meant for you to put your own information on here and hand it out to people. I have no idea. But I have one, um, enough for one letter, and this will go out during Incarimo. It's got a little um, garden kind of theme, and so there's a little bird in a birdhouse and little flowers, and it's really cute artwork. It looks like a, like a colored pencil, kind of. And it's got this little angel girl with a dog, and this is the paper is pretty cute. has the little flowers and then the little girl at the top with her dog watering the flowers. Cute stuff. So that will be gone um, after February. But you know I'm not so sad that it's going because that means that it will be used. Hopefully somebody will have gotten it and enjoyed it and then I can buy new. Because new stationery is always fun. And I was surprised how well received the Hello Kitty was during Incarimo. People seemed tickled by it. 
I had some Wonder Woman stationery and I used that whole pad up and people loved that. But people really liked Hello Kitty and I, I just, she's still popular. So I've, I've separ separated this out. So I've got one, two, three more letters left with Hello Kitty and then she's gone. She's done and I probably am not going to buy any more. But this is a really cute set. It says around the edge, um, Hello Kitty. And it looks like it's French, so I can't read that. But it's like a little angel Hello Kitty with a trumpet and some wings, and it's a pretty blue. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's got lines on it. This is the envelope that goes with it. It's just a little harp and some little teddy bears, more French words, and where you put the stamp is the little wing. I always, you know, it's so cute, but then, you know, the person getting it, they didn't know that that cute detail was there. Oh, well. So I have two of those with some matching stickers. I've got two left, a blue one and a purple one. That's one thing I really loved about buying, like, Japanese stationery or just, like, Asian stationery. It always came with matching stickers, and so I liked that. This is a really pretty one. It's another Hello Kitty, and I love the little... Uh, like lace pattern around the side and you may not be able to see it but the little flowers are sort of falling from where she's flying and she's got wings and a little flower and little flowers in her hair pretty cute stuff and it's faintly lined I think you can see that I have one more matching sticker and it just says Hello Kitty the other ones had actual little pictures and this is the envelope the envelope is adorable it has you know, the little lace pattern at the bottom, the little flowers at the top. She's holding a little flower. And the front is really cute, too. So those will be done after February. And now that I've written to some of these people for Incarimo, I'm going to try to send these to, like, the cat people. I know there's a few people that I can sort of remember that really liked cats or they really liked the Hello Kitty. I'll try to remember to send those to them. This set I really loved. I loved that Lazy Panda. So it was a pad of paper and then envelopes and stickers. I've got two pieces of the paper left, so this will be gone as well. Look at that little detail of the cutout. So you've got the little panda, and he's sitting on clouds. This is like a cloud theme. And then the envelope with more pandas and clouds. It's so cute. He's falling through the clouds. This one came with a set of stickers, and these are what I have left. Just a little plain cloud and a little panda on the cloud. And they're fuzzy. Can you see that? Probably not. So cute. So those are going to go this month. They'll be gone. And this one is actually a pretty full set of the panda. There you go, if you can read that. Enjoy it. So, um, this set came with these little tiny cards, which I just think are adorable. And I think I sent these as a tuck-in when I used the stationery last time so that, you know, somebody could use that for another person. It came with its own matching stickers. So this one is the Lazy Panda again, but it's like pink and silver flowers is the theme and so it's laying inside the little flower the envelopes are so cute it looks like poppies and look at the top of the envelope isn't that cute the little cutout and it has the little panda across it and there's the front so i have enough for one two three four of those and those will all be used this month and so here's the paper. That's a, a large piece of paper, and the edges are kind of like a lace cut, scallop cut. Has faint pink lines, and then the little pandas falling out of the flower, and more little pandas. So, that's it. That is my stationery collection today as it stands. Um, it's different than my last one, but some of them are still the same. Some of them will certainly go away. All the little pandas will disappear. All of the Hello Kitty will disappear. And um, I'll certainly be using up some of those other 
cards um, that I showed you. Actually, now that I think about it, you know, you're supposed to kind of use, I don't know if you have to, but you know, you use fountain pens for Incarimo in that those cards don't take fountain pens. Hmm. We'll have to work that one out later. Well, um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I know that it, I will have a small audience for this, but um, it was requested. And so thank you for putting in that request. I hope that you enjoyed this. And uh, if you ever have requests, please feel free to send them to me. I'm happy to do them. Have a great day. Don't forget, if you want to participate in Incarimo, go to incarimo.org, which is I N C O W R I. M-O dot org. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.